Greetings and salutations. In this video, I want to show you how to use the Wartner Wart Veruca Remover Pen. There's two different variations, as you can tell, these two. Wartner is actually manufactured in the Netherlands. However, you can still get it on Amazon and eBay and online in general. It's a fantastic product. I used the same pen months later to get rid of two warts on myself, one on my hand and then one on my leg. It's absolutely fantastic. Now this one here is a little bit more expensive. This one actually has TCA in it, which is trichlorocetic acid. And this one makes it a lot more potent. It is more expensive than this one, but don't get me wrong, this one's still good. It just takes a little bit longer to remove the wart. But still, probably 90% more effective than the majority of wart removers out there. They're both fantastic. So let me go ahead and open one up. And it comes in a little pin like this. And this just removes right here. And what happens is, is you take a little scissors and you cut right here. And then what you do is you, you turn clockwise and get one little drip out. So I went ahead and marked on my hand where a wart would be, because I don't have any currently. And what I'd recommend you do is actually protect the skin around the wart. So what you want to do is get like some medical tape or some band-aids and protect the rest of the skin because don't get me wrong if you damage your skin it will eventually go away but you just don't want to damage you know healthy tissue so you want to isolate the wart by putting tape or band-aids around it and then very conservatively you apply a little small drop don't like splash it on there and think more is good because it's not. What's happening is, is warts and veruca and plantars, they actually have little seeds inside of them. And that's what makes them stay. That's why they won't go away. It's because those seeds continue to replant themselves into your skin. If you ever go to a dermatologist or a doctor, um, sometimes what they'll do is if, if they don't apply anything to the wart, they'll get like a little tool and they'll remove the seeds out of the wart or the plantar. And a lot of people don't realize that Veruca plantars on the bottom of your feet, 90% of those are actually HPV, which is an STD that you pick up from like a yoga mat or if you're walking barefoot at a pool. A lot of people don't realize that that's exactly what it is. What happens is, is the HPV gets into a crack into your foot and that causes a plantar. So, like I said, I remove the cap and you're going to cut the tip of it and you're going to turn clockwise until you see a little small drip here and then you apply it and then you rub it in and of course you let it sit for as long it eventually will dry itself and the instructions for the Wartner says to do it twice a day I think that's too much um, on my particular warts I applied once gave it a couple of days and I saw immediate effect. It really did its work on the first try. And then after the first try, you might want to try it a week later. But that's really all you need. And the great thing about the Wartner is it's not that perishable. If you if you um, seal it up, put it away after the first you know use or the first wart that you get rid of, it's still good for probably two or three years. So it's not like super glue that'll go bad within a week. It'll actually stay good for several months, if not a few years. Now this is the other one, and it's a little bit slower to respond and to react. And it's this one right here. And this one's pretty much the same concept. You remove this cap, and then you apply it. Again, it's not as powerful, but it's still, still very potent. Now, a lot of people will get this actually to remove cholesterol spots off of their face, but they only recommend Wartner on the on the you know on your body, like your your legs, your hands, your you know your. They don't recommend you putting it on your face. There are people that'll, like I said, will get col rid of cholesterol spots. Only thing I have to say is if you do do that, remember this has TCA in it, acid. It's literally just like acid. So you want to be very, very careful of when and where you use it. Again, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you do use it, do so with caution. Um, it was fantastic that I used it on my two warts. Again, I only used it once 
and it really did its job and then I applied it like a week later. All right, if you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment section. Let me know what you're using it for. And I'll, again, I'll put in the, de in the description of where you can get it at. It might change. I might change the link because sometimes you can see them on eBay. Sometimes you can see them, on, see them on Amazon. Sometimes you can get them directly from Wartner. But just be prepared. It does take a while uh, to ship because usually it comes from Europe. All right, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe.